hello, folks. This one is so insane, and I'm an idiot. I've just done two missions in Tabacow without recording them. But what happened is we just blew up a bunch of cocaine in the rail yard, or coca leaves in the rail yard, and we removed the cartel from our co uh, coca farm. Not exactly riveting stuff. And the radio's on. Must know. have been $10 million worth of coca leaves in those stocks. That's gonna hit Madra Coca where it hurts. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, I picked up the AK-12, kind of a modern take on the AK-47. Very nice, very nice rifle. Easy, come in. Hang back, that tank on my spine. Got some questions for you, asshole. I'll talk, I'll talk! Opening fire. That was not smooth. Sniper. Alright, grab this until and dip. It's a route plan for a convoy that moves along the death road. Security team rides along with it. There's a name here, Salazar. Bowman, we're picking up chatter about a cartel lieutenant by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madracoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madracoca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start. Said he reminded her of her own son. Who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So, she had the old man stuffed in the sack of tires and set him on fire. What the fuck? Jorge has been her adopted son and right hand man ever since. That's seriously fucked up. Salazar's probably the one person in the world Madracoca really trusts. We grab him, it'll turn her world upside down. We'll see what we can do. Just need to make sure. Okay, I am recording. Cause I thought I was recording last time. Madri Coca's right hand man is a local by the name of Salazar. She depends on him for everything. Let's see how she reacts when we take him into custody. Uh, so um, I probably got COVID because my brother came home from a cruise, tested positive, and then decided it'd be fun to breathe all over me without a mask on. Um, so I, I'm probably infected. So now I'm taking like that pill drug cocktail and um, it makes your mouth taste like bitter pennies absolutely horrible fire Roger. there's the convoy Ah, uh, shit, he's surrendering some of them. Wait. Huh. Like, right where we need to be. Convenient. We're good, we're good. Is this we're really, like... Cage. Death Row. Oh, they might have actually modeled Death Row as best they can. And... Wait. Suck my dick, Blanquinosa de mierda. I ain't saying shit. Salazar, did it ever occur to you that I don't actually need you to talk? Without you, there's no one to run things in Tabacal. <gasps> Madricoca will have to come out of hiding, and then we'll have her. Entonces, you think I'm the only one she trusts? Carajo, mujer. She has people loyal to her working with the farmers. Now that's an interesting piece of information. See? You're cooperating already. Wait. I didn't. Sure you did. And Madricoca would skin you alive if she ever found out. Give us some names, Salazar, and we promise this stays between you and us. If not... Dale, pues. Okay!
What the? Why is Gaging. there? Kill confirmed. Okay, well that's been Tabacal part four because I didn't record parts two and three because I'm an idiot. See you all later. Bowman just uploaded some names for us. Looks like Salazar finally talked. It's a list of Santa Blanca snitches working inside the farmer's co-op. You know what to do. We take them out. <laughs>